Channel 33, Harrisburg. Gallery 33 has been made possible by Core States Hamilton Bank. WITF proudly presents the work of Central Pennsylvania's artists and craftspeople offered for your consideration on Gallery 33. Now live from our studio and ready for your bidding and support of public broadcasting, the Gallery 33 Collection. And welcome, welcome to the 1993 edition of Gallery 33 here on your public television station, Channel 33. We have an enthusiastic crowd to open up this evening. This is the new expanded Gallery 33. Three more hours this year than in any other year. And it's because more and more artwork has been contributed by generous artists and craftspeople throughout South Central Pennsylvania. Yes, you are watching the uh, television auction during which we will be selling more than 900 pieces of artwork and crafts, all created by local artists and craftspeople, all contributed to WITF for the support of your public television and radio stations, WITF-TV, Channel 33, and WITF-FM, 89.5 on your FM dial. Tonight until midnight, and then again tomorrow and Sunday from noon until midnight, the presentation of all of this marvelous artwork and craft. And now it is time to bid on a new group of merchandise and items here, arts and uh, nice, nice prints and pieces. Mm -hmm. And as Mike said, a limited edition piece. Uh, and welcome back, if you will, please, Rich Brenner as our area producer mm -hmm. and Charles Schultz as our yeah. auctioneer. Let's start with item number 420. This is a reproduction titled Rainy Weekend by Ann Stuttenroth of Carlisle. It's 16 inches by 12 inches. Dollars. Number 616 is a watercolor titled Alice and Bob, Erratica Number 5 by Brian Swords of York. It's 16 inches by 24 inches. Well, I think the stark commentary of this particular piece is something that Brian Swords has become famous for uh, as his works have been exhibited here before. Uh, the two uh, rats are obviously engaged in very human activity, undoubtedly a commentary on ourselves being uh, almost like experimental rats uh, in some fashion. Well, it's a Saturday night. That's why it's out it's, tonight. It's there a Saturday go. night. I guess uh, that makes it all right as the I song would, goes. It makes know? it all right. <laughs> there is something I would like. Of course, there's a barcode <laughs> in the bottom of the piece of art, another commentary on, uh, on the fact that uh, art is somewhat mass-produced. And on the back of this piece, there's an envelope that says, Free Offer. We have no idea what is inside that envelope, but it comes along with Erratica, number oh, five. bonus night here on the auction. <laughs> yes, Item absolutely. number 616, the watercolor titled Alice and Bob, Erratica, number five, by Brian Swords of York. It's 16 inches by 24 inches. The assigned value is $75. Number, number 616, the watercolor titled Alice and Bob Erotica Number 5 by Brian Swords of York and that special offer on back. The dimensions are 16 inches by 24 inches. The assigned value is $75 and the current posted bid is $125. Thank you for that overbid. Number 5,000. Well, here we go, George. Are you ready for, for more wonderful things? We have Barb. She's the area producer, and it's Saturday night, and it's pretty good. We've had a lot of fun so far. Let's see what's up for bid here at this current Area B. This Item 617, the watercolor Alice and Bob Erratica 4 by Brian Swords of York. The uh, work is 18 by 24 inches. All you erratic art collectors, this is a piece for you. Uh, it's rumored to have been wanted by the National Museum of Erratic Art. We got it here. You can buy it. And it's item 617, the watercolor Alice and Bob Erratica Number no. 4 by Brian Swords, assigned value $75. Item number 617, the watercolor Alice and Bob Erotica Number no. 4 by Brian Swords, and as you can see, the assigned value is $75. We'll come back to the current posted bid because it is changing and going up. We had a high, we had an overbid of $25. It was at $100. We are now at $125 being posted as we speak. Item number 583. And welcome back. We have a new group of art for you to bid on here with a brand new set of art at Area C. Welcome back, Rosella Moore and Colleen Bickman as our auctioneer. Let's begin with item number 880. This is a watercolor titled Field of Wild Flowers by Alan e. Brown of Camp Hill. It's 17 inches by 21 inches. Item number 678. 
Here we go, auction lovers. The watercolor titled Alice and Bob, Erratica Number 3. This is by Brian Swords of York. It's 24 inches by 18 inches. Bob back. I, they seem to be progressing, staring into each other's eyes and other other activities. You notice that we have the lucky strikes at the corner. They are about ready to be gotten into, the lucky strikes. Um, it's an unusual series, that's all one can say. And it's been going for over its assigned value so far, number five and four have at least. Item number 678, the watercolor titled Alice and Bob Erratica Number 3 by Brian Swords of York. It's 24 inches wide by 18 inches high. The assigned value is $75. Number Item number 678, the watercolor titled Alice and Bob Erratica Number 3 by Brian Swords of York. It's 24 inches by 18 inches. The assigned value is $75, and the current posted bid is $125. Item number And item number 616, a watercolor titled Alice and Bob Erratica Number 5 by Brian Swords of York. The high bid came from Mike Yasick of York. And don't forget, the items you're looking at will close very soon. Steelton. Item number 6917, a watercolor titled Alice and Bob Erratica Number 4 by Brian Swords of York. The high bid came from Mike Yasick of York. Item number 583, Hummelstown. Item number 678, a watercolor titled Alice and Bob Erratica Number 3 by Brian Swords of York. The high bid came from Gilbert Custom Framing Shop in Gettysburg. Item